Now, next up, I mean, we've got a, a heavyweight clash and we all love the heavyweights, don't we? Um, without a doubt. And this time we've got Rob Cunningham, we've got Carl Hobley making his debut. We've, it, this is a hell of a fight as well, uh, Robin Reed. Yeah, I mean, the thing is with heavyweights as well, um, you know, anything can happen. I mean, we've seen it in Britain with glove boxing as well, you know, like they're doing well, the big fight tonight, um, the, uh, White and... Uh, Provecting, you know, how we switch that fight. So the heavyweights always bring something, you know, and especially that big punch can come at any time, you know, and they are big lads, these lads, so I'm really looking forward to this one. Let's have a look at, I think we can have a look at what happened at the weigh in. What are you expecting? Just a war, the size of him. He's a big boy, isn't he? So, you know, we just do what we do. I fought big people before. It's just about. Uh all the hard work I've put in now, showing showing the improvements. Obviously, I had an opponent drop out. Carl stepped in, so I'm grateful for him to take the fight. Big opportunity for Carl to get on the show now as well. So, yeah, ready to go to work. BKB presents three two-minute rounds of bare knuckle boxing in the heavyweight division. Introducing first in the red corner, representing Bournemouth, Carl Hobley. Across the ring, his opponent stands in the blue corner. Representing Scotland by way of D-side, Rob Celtic Beast Cunningham! Once again, Clive Allison is in charge of the action. Okay, you both lay the rules, all right? Watch the heads when you're coming in. No holding and striking, all right? If I say break, you break and take one step back. Either one of you goes down, other immediately to a neutral corner. And remember, the count is 20, lads, all right? Good luck. Let's get down to business. Heavyweight contest, three two-minute rounds, and Rob Cunningham we saw before. But Carl Ooh. Hobley, let's be fair, has taken the fight at short notice. Yeah, fair play to him, Tom, you know. Oh, he's gone straight in there. He's gone straight in for him. With the run and then the left again. <laughs> He's decided to come straight out the blocks and go for a tear up. Yeah. And that right again. Yeah. I mean, that's a good shot. Oh, good shots from Cunningham as well. Holding. That's always a good shot with the taller opponents on the right hand over the top, which he seems to be having a bit of success with um, Holby. And, and again, again. And again. And leg again. With the left hook. He's in trouble. Rob Cunningham may be in trouble there. Shot after shot after shot. Is it? Is he's hurt? You know, Rob Cunningham. Yeah, he's hurt him, uh, Tom. You know, he's, he's you know he's, he's uh, you know he's a late replacement. And he's, he's giving it a go and he's having well, Rob, a lot of success. Rob lost to Dan Podmore in BKB lockdown one. That was for the British heavyweight title. Oh, and again he's caught him twice. Carl Hobley's landing some really good shots, and yet the height and reach. You wouldn't have thought so, yeah, you know, he's taking full of you. You know, it reminds you of Andy Ruiz. Yeah, 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 exactly, Tom, yeah. It looks a little bit out of shape, but you know what? Oh, he's Give rocked him, him again. Him again, yeah. That right over the and top, and again, again. Double right hand I over think the top. There may have been an elbow there, the referee spotted it, splits him. Is that right, he's got some really success with that right. And there it comes again. Yeah, if you notice, Cunningham's keeping that left hand low as well. You know, and you think he'd start to bring that left hand up a little bit tighter. He's copying for a lot of right hands over the top, Tom. Yeah, he's still keeping it low. Well, he's recovered a little bit, Rob Cunningham. Little jab gets through there. And I think Holby needs to capitalise on that success that he's had in this first round. You know, don't let uh, Cunningham get into the fight. End of the first round and a, a really excellent round for the debut guy, Carl Hobley, there. Yeah. Robin Black just get Robin in. Robin, that's a, a great debut first round. <laughs> yeah, you know, when you see somebody that big, he mentioned it at the way and look at the size of him. Sometimes... Bear with us, Robin. Bear with us, because Jim's arrived, Robin. Bear with us. Bear with us a second. Yeah. Robin up. That's the first achievement of the night. Um, yeah, that all three for, for Red Carl. I thought it. Um, what a debut round. Yeah, I, 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 Rob didn't establish any kind of distance or jab or anything. Just loud. Yeah, straight down reach. the pipe. Yeah, just straight down the we pipe. We just said it. I said it. It reminds me of Andy Ruiz a little bit. Shocking. You know, small yeah. guy comes in. Yeah. His right hook, his right's landed half a dozen it, times. Compared to what we saw Rob last time, he just looked Against like he froze. Exactly. Yeah, just like, you know, he's. But you know, you, can, you do freeze when you get hit and it hurts. Yeah, it's not nice, is it, getting them 20 stone guys hitting you? All the best, boys. Thank you. 
you very much Thank indeed. You, and sorry, Robin Black, we'll be back with you shortly no at the end of this round. Second round. It's three, three two minutes. Be interested in what uh, Rob Cunningham's corner to. Oh, another right, right from right hand. Carl Hobley. He's had some success with that over, well over the top right. And he's growing with confidence. And again. and again, he's growing with confidence, Tom. And he's cut. Yeah, a little nick there. Little yeah. nick on the yeah. left. And he, that, he's jabbed him with the left and then come with the right. He's an aggressive little one. He's it, aggressive, isn't he? Tom, and uh, Cunningham struggling to keep him off. You know, the taller guy, longer reach, you'd think he'd be popping the jab, trying to keep his man away. There is a mis misconception, you know, sometimes. And again, and again he's got through. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you take a fight late, yeah. you, you wonder whether the opponent gets a bit complacent about it. Yeah, and you don't slightly underestimate your opponent, uh, maybe, but. You know, and plus, you know, he. He's running in train four, and then you've got a change of opponent. You know that can mess your game up a little bit. But you know you've got to be on the game. You've got to be on form. Whoever you get, he looks like a fighter who sees this as a big opportunity yeah. here. And the right hand again, Tom sneaks over. He's taken one or two as well without yeah. really. Not, not, oh, and that's, that's a, a good right hand. A good right hand there, there yeah. from Cunningham caught him. But he came straight back, uh, Hobley, with a right hand of his own. I think Hobley's looking for that right, isn't he, yeah. all the time? And then a bit of clinching. It's a bit untidy just at the moment. I mean, that suits Hobley, to be fair. He wants to be inside. You yeah. know, he's leading him with that right hand over the top. The big tall guy, Reach. Yeah. He'd keep him away. Yeah, I would have thought. And he's not the... doing it. He's, he's failing oh, to do it. Oh, he's jabbed as well, straight with a straight left there, got through. Hobley, really impressive. Yep. Yeah. Uh, for me, Rob Cunningham doesn't look comfortable. No, he doesn't, Tom. He doesn't. He, he doesn't seem to be getting those shots off. He doesn't seem comfortable there at all. He's on the back foot all yeah. the time. Yeah. You know, when he's falling foul to that right hand. Oh. Again through with the left. End of the second round there. Robin Black, quickly, your summary there before Jim comes round. Hobley is winning with two things, uh, two fundamentals. A fundamental tool, the overhand right, and a fundamental philosophy, be first. And that simple approach has worked for him for four minutes. Be first, be first in the exchange, be first to land, initiate. And that's actually making Cunningham hesitate. So it's working for him with the weapon, the overhand right, and it's working for him with the philosophy, be first. Brilliant. Jim. Um, same again. I'm, I'm much the same, really. I'm, I'm really surprised. I'm going to go give feedback to the guys because it's coming to the last round. Rob looks... You've seen Rob before. He looks uncomfortable. It doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't look it like it's Rob it. Cunningham no. from lockdown one. So I'm going to give him feedback on the scores. We're going into the last round, boys. Top man, thank you. Cheers, Jim. And, and, I mean, I, I mean, I don't, he's got to stop him now, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's, he's got, got to his stop him. Behind. He just doesn't seem to be getting his shots off, Tom. Absolutely. He doesn't seem comfortable I'm in surprised there. a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Not, not that I'm not disrespecting yeah, Carl Hobley. He's away from Hobley. He's making but the I most expected of... more from, uh, from, from Cunningham. Rob Cunningham. Yeah. I mean, Carl Hobley. Hobley's but he's got a bloody nose as well, um, Hobley. But I'm, I don't know whether that's come from. Oh, oh that right again, again and again. And he's just grown with confidence. Oh, good shots it. from Cunningham from there. Him, yeah, making him coming back that, with a good one-two of his I own. I think the corner shouted much better. Absolutely. Yeah, he needs to lift his game up though. Tom. Oh, he's the right again, again and the left, and the right again. You know, he came back Cunningham with some good shots himself, and Hobley came back himself. With I was waiting for him to move on with that yeah. to push on. Oh, he got it. Another right. Another right He's hand, fell for yeah. the right every time. You can understand at the start, but eventually you have to have guard for him. Yeah. And he's just he's kept his left hand. Uh, Cunningham's kept his left well, hand. Well, you said long. that at round one. Yeah. And he's not right took it. You know, he's not. He's not holding. It. There's a bit of holding going on. The referee not happy. Clive Allison. You know, he's comfortable with that left hand down, but he's copying for them right hands over the top, Tom. I'll be, start, I'll be starting to feel the pace a little bit yeah, now, Tom. To be yeah. fair, you, you wouldn't, you'd have to get in better shape for a yeah, seven-rounder, yeah. wouldn't you, or a five-rounder? Yeah. I mean, fair play to him, you know, he's took oh, the he's fight been, at short notice. He's shocked a lot of people. Yeah, he's took the first two rounds, definitely. He, he's breathing out of his backside at yeah, the moment, He's though, struggling but in this round, but, but all he's got to do is see the round out, Tom. But the little jab there, the little jab's still getting through, and mm -hmm. they're scoring points. 
But Rob, Rob has to step it up now to win it. Yeah, he's got he to, he's to, got to finish it. He needs to stop him, yeah. He needs to, a big finish now. I mean, he's four and one in, in MMA. Yeah. Rob, he's, he, you know, he knows all about winning. Yeah, so he's got bags of experience. But... There it is, the end of what has been an enthralling contest of the David and Goliath situation. Yes. Yeah. And be very, very interesting. You're going to go and interview the, the winner. And Robin Black, what a performance from Carl Hubley, who took the fight late. Yeah, you got, only got to win four minutes if you can sur survive with the final two, and he did. You know, Cunningham in that last 30 seconds, you saw him step across and throw two, three, four punches. That simple approach from Hobley was be first. The simple answer, the attempted answer is, quote, straight punches. And that, went, once you simplify it to that point, that's just what Cunningham wasn't able to get off due to the pressure of Hobley. All credit goes to Hobley. Uh, assuming he wins this fight, he deserves all the credit. Anything Cunningham wasn't able to do was a result of the work that Hobley was able to do. But he, he, he was so successful there, in that opening overhead. rounds with that right. Yep, overhead right and be first. And, yeah. and pressure, push the man back. You know, against a big fighter with a long reach, you must get inside. So Hobley's basic approach was really, here we, really smart. Here we, here we really, go, Robin, really just correct. bear with me now as we go back to the ring for Lance Murdoch, the MC, to announce the formality of the winner. In our second contest of the evening, after three rounds of non-stop blood-curdling action, we consult the judges' scorecards. I can tell you it is a unanimous decision. To the red corner, Carl Hobley. Well, that is uh, amazing. We'll be going over to uh, hear what uh, Carl Hobley's got to say to Robin in just a moment or two. But Robin, you were saying, you know, I was surprised that Rob, once he'd been hit a few times, never got his defence sorted. Yeah, and sometimes it's a simple thing, like being pushed back. And now, correct me if I'm wrong, that man was 20 stone, Tom? Yep. Is that a 20 stone man? That's a, for people who aren't uh, familiar with the English system, that is a 280 pound man. Sometimes there's one answer, one simple answer to upset him. And in this case, it was pushing back push him back and put pressure on him. And that worked, you know? Sometimes the simple philosophy is the right way to, to defeat a man. And it really worked. Although I noticed that Hobley's face, that's the face of a winner. And you'll take a look when he's talking to Robin. He, he is busted off, but that's the game. Thanks very much. And I think now we can cross to uh, Robin Reed, who's gonna be talking to Carl Hobley. So Carl, great performance. Uh, last minute call in. So yeah. Not at the minute, no. <laughs> uh, it was what it was, you know, I wasn't expecting. Yeah, I mean, you landed suc crazy. successively there with a lot of the right hands over the top, so was that something you've been working on? I took this fight on Monday morning. Uh, I was out riding my bike Sunday, and I seen the message from Jim, and I was like, I'll have that, but I've just been taking over, just sparring, a bit of running. But happy with your performance, yeah? No. No? No, sloppy, horrible. So what are you going to work on for next time? My weight, cardio. I've got to get these guys to give me another contract yet, haven't I? So, you know, it's down to them whether I fight again, isn't it? So, yeah, but great performance. Hopefully you get much. a bit more um, training in next time. So, One's from my mate Rich. And uh, my TV money goes to a little girl in Bournemouth called Aurora Kelly. She was born with a few difficulties, so she's fighting all her life. This was nothing compared to what she's going through. So, oh, that's a big thank thanks, you Thanks, guys. For that. Thank you. So, thanks very Good much. Win. Cheers.